As you probably know, Dune Part 2 is set to release on March 1st, 2024, and it'll cover the second half of the first book, Dune. It follows Paul Atreides and his Fremen allies as they wage a war against the Harkonnens and the Emperor for the control of Arrakis, the desert planet that is the source of spice, the most valuable substance in the universe. I'm super excited for this movie, and I'm sure you are too, but what about a third movie? And what about other Dune projects? Well, it seems like a lot more Dune is on the way. The director of the movies, Denis Villeneuve, has said that he envisions the adaptation of two books, Dune and Dune Messiah. Dune Messiah is the second book in the series, and it takes place 12 years after the events of the first book. It shows the consequences of the events of the first novel, and how he becomes a kind of messiah figure for the Fremen and the galaxy. It also introduces new characters and plots, such as a conspiracy against Paul and more. The thing I envision is the adaptation of two books, Dune and Dune Messiah. Villeneuve said in an interview. We decided to split the first novel in two, so now we're at three movies. Those movies are very long to make. For my mental sanity, I decided to just dream about three movies. So it seems that he's interested in making a third movie, but it'll depend on the success of the second movie and the availability of the cast and crew. I think a third movie is pretty likely because the second one is likely to be a huge hit, and there will be a lot of demand for more Dune content as the franchise continues to grow. Plus, Dune Messiah is a shorter and more focused book than the first one, so it could be adapted into a single movie without losing too much of the story. But what about the other books in the series? There are six books in total written by Frank Herbert, and they get more and more complex and abstract as they go on. The third book, Children of Dune, follows the story of Paul's children, while the fourth book, God Emperor of Dune, jumps 3,500 years into the future. The fifth book, Heretics of Dune, takes place 1,500 years after that, and introduces a new generation of characters and factions. The sixth book, Chapter House Dune, continues the story of the fifth book and ends with a cliffhanger that was never resolved because Frank Herbert died before he could write the seventh book. So as you can see, the other books are very different from the first two and would be really difficult to adapt into movies. They're more philosophical, metaphysical, and political, and they deal with themes such as evolution, ecology, religion, and power. They also have a lot of new characters and concepts, and they span thousands of years of history. I don't think Villeneuve would be interested in making movies based on these books because they're so far removed from his vision of Dune. And I don't think that the general audience would be that interested in them either because they're so different from what we've come to expect from Dune. I think that the best way to appreciate these books is to read them and appreciate them for what they are the original and visionary work of Frank Herbert. But that doesn't mean there's no more Dune content to look forward to. There are actually two other Dune projects that are in the works. The first one is a TV series called Dune Prophecy, and it's set 10,000 years before the events of the 1965 novel Dune. The series will follow sisters Valya and Tula Harkonnen as they combat forces that threaten the future of humankind and establish the fabled sect known as the Bene Gesserit, an exclusive sisterhood and political force whose members undergo physical training and mental conditioning to obtain superhuman powers and abilities. They're also the ones who manipulate the bloodline of the noble houses in an attempt to create the Kwisatz Haderach, the one who can see the past and the future. The series is positioned as a prequel to the 2021 Denis Villeneuve film, and Alison Shapker serves as showrunner, writer, and executive producer. The series is scheduled to premiere on Max, the streaming service, in late 2024. I think this series could be really interesting because it'll show the origins of the Bene Gesserit and how they shaped the history of the Dune universe. It'll also show us a completely different perspective of the Harkonnens, who are usually portrayed as the villains of the story. And it'll give us a glimpse of the ancient times of the Dune universe, before the rise of the Imperium, the Guild, and the Chome Company. The second project in development is a video game called Dune Awakening, and it's an upcoming open-world survival MMO game developed and published by Funcom. Funcom is a Norwegian video game company that's made games such as Conan Exiles, Anarchy Online, and The Secret World. Dune Awakening combines the grittiness and creativity of survival games with the social interactivity of a large-scale, persistent multiplayer game to create a unique and ambitious open-world survival MMO. You'll be able to create your own character and explore the vast and seamless Arrakis, shared by thousands of players. You'll have to survive the most dangerous planet in the universe, build shelters against sandstorms, maintain your still suit, and master the old ways to walk even the deepest deserts. You'll also have to avoid or be devoured by the colossal sandworms that dwell beneath the sands. The release date of the game has not been revealed, but it'll be released on PS5, PC, and Xbox. The first trailer premiered on August 23rd, 2022, and it looked amazing. I think that this video game could be awesome because it'll let us experience the Dune universe in a way that we've never been able to before. It'll let us immerse ourselves in the culture the ecology, and the politics of Arrakis, and interact with other players and factions. It'll be like living in the Dune universe, and I can't wait to play it. Let me know what other Dune projects you want to see in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.